Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and uh, I welcome all of you to this course on the medical biotechnology and uh, uh, in this particular uh, first video I am going to uh, give you the uh, introduction to the course contents that uh, what topics we are going to cover in uh, this particular course of medical biotechnology. Uh, we will start with the uh, definition of biotechnology, the uh, different types of biotechnology and we will be focusing on the uh, applications of different types of biotechnology and of course we will be focusing on the medical biotechnology mostly. Uh, the second topic that we are going to cover in uh, this course of medical biotechnology is the cancer and uh, we are going to have a very detailed discussion on the cancer and uh, we will start with the uh, concept and the uh, definition of the neoplasm or the tumor. Uh, we will talk then about the differences between the uh, neoplasia and the hyperplasia that uh, how these two terms they differ from each other because the neoplasia and the hyperplasia both of them they are excessive cell growth. Uh, then we are going to talk about the uh, components of the tumors uh, the different components of the tumor, the composition of the tumor and we'll be talking then about the uh, benign and the malignant tumors and what type of the nomenclature is used to differentiate between the benign and the malignant tumors. Uh, then we'll be focusing on the characteristics or differences between the benign and the malignant tumor, two of the major types of the tumors. Uh, then our focus will be on the primary and the secondary tumors. Uh, after that, we will be focusing on the carcinogens and the co-carcinogens, uh, the agents that are responsible for causing cancer in the living organisms. Uh, then we will be focusing on uh, the important methods or the important concept of the carcinogenesis. So carcinogenesis will be the phenomena how these uh, cancer cells they are formed and these carcinogens and the co-carcinogen that would be the agents responsible for this uh, carcinogenesis. Then uh, we will be focusing uh, in uh, detail on the molecular basis of the cancers and uh, in the molecular basis of the cancer our main focus would be on the concept of the proto-oncogenes, the tumor suppressor genes and the oncogenes that how these genes they are responsible for the normal cell division and when problem occur in these particular genes uh, we are going to get uh, into problem and in the end uh, of the cancer we will be focusing on the uh, staging of the cancer you may have heard about the different stages of the cancer like the stage 1 stage 2 so we will be uh, uh, looking at the scientific explanation of these uh, stages of the cancer uh, the next topic in the uh, course on this uh, medical biotechnology would include the gene therapy uh, we will start with the uh, therapy and its types so there can be the plant-based therapies, uh, the antibiotics that is another form of therapy and then in the end our major discussion would be focusing on the uh, gene therapy. Uh, uh, in the gene therapy next we are going to uh, focus on the first case of the gene therapy and some of the successful cases or some of the success stories in the gene therapy. Then we will be talking about the different types of the gene therapy and uh, you can classify or you can uh, make the types of gene therapy uh, on two bases. There can be the somatic and the germline, the germline gene therapy, uh, one type of classification and then we will be focus, focusing on the another type of classification uh, which would include the ex vivo and the in vivo gene therapy. Uh, after that, we will be focusing on the different vectors that are used in the gene therapy and I will be telling you that the two major type of the vectors that we use in the gene therapy, one is known as the viral vectors, the other one they are known as the non-viral vectors. So we are going to have a detailed discussion on both the viral and the non-viral vectors. Then uh, in the end, as you all know that gene therapy is, uh, I would say, uh, science, you can say uh, a laboratory science still yet because the success rate that is really low. So we will be focusing on the uh, limitations of the gene therapy. Uh, the next topic that we are going to discuss that would be the monoclonal antibodies, uh, one of the major things uh, that are used in the diagnostics, in the therapeutics these days. Uh, we'll start our discussion in the monoclonal antibodies with the uh, differences between the monoclonal and the polyclonal antibodies. 
the discovery and the important experiments that lead to the uh, current knowledge of the monoclonal antibodies. Uh, then we'll talk about the uh, hybridoma cell production and the heat media and the selective media that we use and the uh, role uh, of this heat media in the selection of the desired hybridoma because when you make the hybridoma you are going to get a mixture of the hybridomas and the, this heat media can help you in the selection of the desired hybridoma so we'll be focusing on that thing uh, in, a, in a very much detail then we are going to uh, focus on the techniques that are used for the purification of the desired hybridoma uh, as well as the purification of the desired monoclonal antibodies and their screening uh, in the end we are going to talk about the different types of the monoclonal antibodies and that would include the nagged monoclonal antibodies the conjugated monoclonal antibodies and the biospecific monoclonal antibodies um, uh, our next topic uh, would be about the interferons, uh, the uh, famous antiviral agents in the body. So uh, we'll start our discussion with the different types of the interferons and the mechanism of action of interferons. And I'll be using the uh, Jack state signaling pathway as an example to give you an understanding of the uh, mechanism of action of different interferons. Uh, and next, uh, we'll be focusing on one of my favorite topics, the apoptosis. So we will start with a general introduction to apoptosis and the importance of the uh, apoptosis in the normal physiological functions of the living organisms. Uh, then uh, we'll talk about the uh, different types of the apoptosis or the different pathways of the apoptosis. Uh, the first pathway that we'll be discussing is known as the intrinsic pathway of the apoptosis. It is also known as the mitochondrial pathway of apoptosis and in the uh, mitochondrial or the intrinsic pathway of apoptosis we will be having a detailed discussion on a family of the protein which is known as the BCL2 family and we will be talking about the uh, famous cache spaces. Uh, then we will be uh, talking about the extrinsic pathway of the apoptosis and the extrinsic pathway of the apoptosis we are going to focus on the uh, phase ligand and the FADD adapter protein and how the intrinsic and the extrinsic pathway uh, at which particular point they are going to uh, intersect with each other. Uh, at the end of the course I will be uh, talking about some of the important uh, therapeutic enzymes and I uh, will be using two of the important therapeutic enzymes available in the market. Uh, one is known as the uh, DNA is one and the DNA is one is a very important enzyme that is used uh, for the treatment of the cystic fibrosis uh, as cystic fibrosis is a genetic disorder I would not say treatment I would say that DNA is one can minimize the symptoms of the cystic fibrosis uh, in the patients of the cystic fibrosis. Uh, another important enzyme available in the market uh, again this would be for the cystic fibrosis and that is known as the alginate lyase. So I'll be using the DNAs 1 and the alginate lyase uh, to give you an understanding of the uh, a different kind of the therapeutic enzyme. So uh, in the next video uh, or in the next lecture we are going to talk about the uh, uh, biotechnology, the definition of biotechnology, uh, the different types of biotechnology and the uh, applications. So uh, I'll see you uh, in the uh, next video inshallah.